Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends and to the tour that never ends as well. This is the free brochure that everybody gets when they come to this tour. And this is an actual copy of the, the, the poster outside. And I said to someone, someone called me and said, oh, I was going to go and see you, but it wasn't on. I said, what do you mean? Well, I had a look at the poster and it said, Jim da tour, Jim Davidson, not yet. Cancelled. No, it's not not yet can not yet cancelled. I had a look at some of the spring dates uh, for next year. There's a lot of places where I used to go that now I'm not going. I'm going to alternative places. Well, it's their loss. We've had enough of this uh, woke woke woke. So what is going to happen? I've had a look at a few things that are woke at the moment. I watched. Did you watch the the London Marathon? It's probably there's still the bloke probably in the diver suit. Uh, still plodding along. He's just passing the two-mile mark from the start. They're wonderful people that did that. But did you notice something uh, about the, the marathon? I didn't think it was very diverse. And someone's about to say something about that, aren't they? Or are they going to say it? Are they going to say it's positive? Is it, is it whatever? So, so is it just not that the diverse people... Uh, are not applying to do the marathon. Strangely, though, it's always won by a black man and a black woman that doing the running. Uh, but there wasn't many dark faces there, was there, uh, really, when you think of it. And that's really going to piss off people. No one's mentioned it yet. I think if you can run, you can run. But there was a lot of white people. I wonder why that is. Surely the uh, organisers have, have not banned black people from going. I bloody well hope not. Or maybe there's... They don't want to run, they're all doing adverts or something like that. But, uh, I mean, good heavens, I mean, it's not as if we're short of diversity in this country. 600 people came across the channel yesterday being brought in, parked up, alongside, in Dover. There you go, thank you. See you next year. Yeah, what the hell is going on? But let's get back to the, the, the London Marathon and not being diverse enough. Are we getting a bit carried away with racism now? There was a woman the other day, and I've got some pictures for you here because I got in touch uh, with the um, the Daily Mirror who sent us the following. I asked for their picture library because did you see what they did the other day? They, they were supposed to be a picture of Quasi Quartang and it was just a black man, you know, and it was sort of saying, you know, all chancellors look alike to us. That's what I said on Jim's Sunday sandwich. So we said, can you send us some pictures? Now, I've quite noticed that there is a bit of a look-alike, and this is where the problem is, because here is our fearless Prime Minister, Liz, and here is her doppelganger, uh, Mavis Riley from Crossroads. They're very, very similar, aren't they? And, uh, and so um, we have uh, now the Mirror have updated their library, and this is the picture of the Chancellor, Kwasi Kwarteng. Uh, here is Home Secretary, uh, Suella a Brave Man, and, and, and of course, one that you could never miss, Keir Starmer. And, and here's it, Angela Rayner. Mm, I think that's a very good lookalike. But the best one of all is a dear old Joe Biden. Apparently, that he has, he has now uh, said, I've spoke to the Chancellor of the Exchequer. He, no one can understand, or they can't quite get it, why Quasi Kwarteng, this woman on the other side, the Labour lot, said he's superficially black. What's that mean? We haven't got a talk like that. You know what I mean? Because him not talking like you're a black bloke or not, and then adverts, you know, she got the hump about it in it. Well, she's of Asian origin, so why doesn't he say to her, you don't talk with wobbly head? It's crazy. Why are we all doing this silly stuff? Anyway, I'm going to talk about it on Ustream. Okay, so tonight, you lot. I am in Wimborne, a really tasty little theatre, the Tivoli Theatre in Wimborne. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Basildon, the Towngate Theatre for three nights. Come along, come along. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. OK, turn the page. Oh, hello there, and welcome to a brand new programme called... Jim's Sunday Sandwich. Well, we'll be taking a look at the news. Yes, and I'll be taking the piss out of the news. <laughs> You've seen loose women, these are baggy birds. Yes. And they're wonderful. Vicky? Yes? Yeah? This could be uh, confusing. Hello. Today, the weather is... Uh, it's going to be nice. <laughs> you turned into Frank Bruno. <laughs> 
I'm never going to work again. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Take a chance, take a chance. <laughs> Do you hear the drums, Fernando? Oh. Jake! Some funny woman, legs like a Steinway piano, little bit of a moustache and, and drives a Morris Thousand. You know the ones, councillors. You can stick the job up your... I said, don't you find this funny? Yeah.